Well, we are taking a leaf through the world's press for you right now here on France 24. Nadia Sharby joins me in the studio. Good morning, Nadia. Uh, starting len with that landmark deal reached yesterday in Ireland, banning cluster bombs from the world's war fields. But the US is one of the big players opposed to a ban. It has an estimated one billion cluster munitions. You've had a look at how the US press is covering that deal exactly. in Ireland. It's not exactly a headline story at the moment, but the Washington Post on its internet site had an interesting special report report with actually a photo report from Beirut um, that follows the story of one young girl, a 17-year-old girl, whose left foot was mangled beyond repair when Israelis dropped a cluster bomb um, in southern Lebanon in 2006 on her home. Um, and so you have all these photos and the story of this young girl. It's, it's a really interesting report and it gives an idea more precisely of, of what this actually means um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, Israel, of course, also boycotted the Dublin conference. Um, and then the New York Times has this article, Britain joins a draft treaty on cluster to munitions. Um, it goes into how Gordon Brown's sudden shift on the question, because until recently England followed the US on its opposition to the ban, um, could create fresh pressure on the US, especially with the upcoming presidential election. Um, the New York Times reminds readers that Barack Obama is the only presidential candidate who's actually uh, rooting against uh, cluster bombs, um, which is quite a, a, a brave move, considering that he was one of only four senators to support a, a ban motion in a 2006 Senate vote. Moving on to Belgium then, and Jihad on the web. Tell us more about that. Uh, La Libre Belgique, uh, Europe's most important jihadist is Belgian, a rather strangely boastful headline. Um, this is 48-year-old Belgian Malika El Arund, who writes on the internet, browbeating Muslim men to take up arms. She calls herself a female holy warrior of Al-Qaeda. Um, this woman is already well known, but La Libre Belgique picks up on the lead article published in yesterday's uh, International Herald Tribune, which called El Arund the most prominent internet jihadist in Europe. Um, which kind of explains the, the headline there. The article looks at the increasingly important role women play in Al-Qaeda. Um, says the daily, women's participation in the jihad is not directly violent, but uses teaching, proselytizing and fundraising. So. Another woman is creating a terrorism controversy on the net, but this is a slightly different story yes, uh, from Australia. Different. Tell us more. Absolutely. Um, Australian Daily The Age, Dunkin' Donuts pulled terror scarf ad. Um, the famous American chain Dunkin' Donuts has pulled an advertisement from the net after critics argued the scarf that you can see that the woman wearing there um, offers symbolic support for terrorism. Um, this chest was made famous by Yasser Arafat, as you remember, happens to be this summer's fashion accessory and was selected by a stylist for the advertising, the advertising shoot. But Dunkin Donuts pulled the ad because of what they call a misperception about the scarf that detracted from its original intent to promote iced coffee. Yes, iced coffee and donuts, everybody, not terrorism, do uh, uh, understand uh, the meaning of that. There's not always hidden messages in advertising. Uh, speaking of advertising, a whole new world of possibility has been opened up in the UK, Nadia. Tell yeah. us more. The Guardian, a small step for man, a big jump for TV commercials. Adverts may no longer be the time to go and get extra crisps and Coke. Um, the break moment. Tonight, Channel 4 will stage the first ever live advert on TV that's filmed live and broadcast live, featuring a team of 19 skydivers leaping from a plane over Madrid. Um, this to promote a, a car maker. They'll be spelling out, they'll have three minutes and 20 seconds to spell out the name of this famous car maker. Um, and this stunt is part of a drive by broadcasters to get viewers' attention. Uh, but of course, the novelty is relative because, as you remember, in the 50s, at the beginning of TV and radio, um, advertising was live and said by the anchor. Right, well, I hope nobody's going to ask me to do any skydiving uh, live on France Van Kert. Thanks very much. Uh, Nadia Sharbit, thank you for that review of the papers. Stay tuned to France Van Kert.